Hey there! Welcome to our channel. In this video, we will dive deep into the differences between the lifestyles of the rich as compared to the poor. That's why I'm excited to share with you today the 12 things that poor people do that the rich don't. Number 1. Poor people don't invest in themselves. Investing in yourself means taking the time, effort, and money to learn new skills, improve existing ones, and broaden your knowledge base. This can be through formal education, online courses, books, or networking with professionals in your field. Poor people often neglect this aspect of personal development, thinking that they don't have the time or resources to invest in themselves. But the truth is, investing in yourself is one of the best ways to increase your earning potential and improve your quality of life. Number 2. Poor people don't set goals. Setting goals is essential to achieving financial success. Without clear goals, you're just wandering aimlessly and have no direction to work towards. Poor people often lack clear goals and just go through the motions of everyday life without any real sense of purpose. The rich, on the other hand, are goal-oriented and have a clear vision of where they want to be in the future. Number 3. Poor people don't take calculated risks. Calculated risks are a necessary part of achieving financial success. The rich understand this and are willing to take calculated risks in order to achieve their goals. Poor people, however, are often risk-averse and afraid to step out of their comfort zone. This can hold them back from opportunities that could change their lives for the better. Number 4. Poor people don't take responsibility for their financial failures. One of the biggest differences between the rich and the poor is that the rich take responsibility for their financial situation. They don't blame others or external circumstances for their lack of success. Poor people, on the other hand, often blame others for their financial problems and don't take responsibility for their own actions. Number 5. Poor people don't seek out mentors or guidance. Mentors and guidance can be invaluable when it comes to achieving financial success. The rich understand this and seek out mentors and guidance from those who have already achieved what they want to achieve. Poor people, however, often try to do everything on their own and don't seek out help from others. This can lead to missed opportunities and slower progress towards financial success. Number 6. Poor people wake up later than rich people do. There are various reasons why this may be the case. For instance, low-income individuals may have to work longer hours, often in multiple jobs, to make ends meet. This could result in a later bedtime and, consequently, a later wake-up time. In contrast, individuals who are financially stable may have more control over their work schedules, may be able to afford better living conditions, and may have access to resources and amenities that make their lives easier. Number 7. Poor people use their credit cards to satisfy their wants, rich people practice delayed gratification. This implies that individuals who are financially disadvantaged are more likely to use credit cards to satisfy their immediate desires, while those who are financially stable tend to have the discipline to delay gratification and prioritize savings, investments and long-term financial goals. Number 8. Poor people neglect their health, rich people invest in taking care of their bodies. Poor people take their health for granted in addition, their lack of access to healthcare may be limited or unaffordable, which can make it difficult to prioritize preventative care or seek treatment for chronic conditions. In contrast, those who are financially stable may have the means to invest in their health and well-being, such as hiring a personal trainer, joining a gym, or purchasing healthy food options. They may also have access to high-quality health care and be more likely to prioritize preventative care and regular checkups. If you find value in this video, give it a thumbs up, smash the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Number 9. Poor people read tabloids and celebrity gossips. Rich people read books, the latest business trends and never stop learning. Poor people are more likely to engage in reading material that is seen as entertainment-focused and lacking in educational value, while those who are financially stable tend to prioritize reading materials that promote personal growth and intellectual development which they can use to further increase their net worth. Number 10. Poor people spend money on things that don't appreciate in value. Rich people invest their money in assets that appreciate in value. The poor have the attitude of, 
keeping up with the Joneses. They buy consumer goods like cars and the latest gadgets that will depreciate in time while the rich spend their money on securities and other investments. Take note that there's always risks in investments and does not guarantee 100% success. Number 11. Poor people focus on saving. Rich people focus on earning. Due to their limited income, poor people focus on savings in preparation for the rainy days while the rich will use their excess money to look for more income opportunities. Number 12. Poor people view obstacles as problems, the rich view it as opportunities. This relates to the difference between the mindsets of the poor as compared to the rich. Poor have a tendency to have a negative mindset while the rich always has a positive mindset, thinking they can always lean on their finances if something goes wrong. In conclusion, I would say that the mindset problems most of us have, are caused by the faulty worldwide education we have. We were taught marketing, finance and other subjects which we can use as credentials for employment, but we were never taught how to make money while we sleep or generate passive income. We were never taught how to develop positive mindsets, so many valuable things in life that were never taught in school. We were left all alone to find out for ourselves which the rich had access due to their families educating them. You can change this faulty educational system and learn the basics of making money online. Click on the link below the description to find out more.